Hey everybody, this is Tommy G. And Pete J. And welcome back to Phoenix, Arizona. Pete, it is good to be home back in Phoenix. Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was good to get out of Detroit after that last one. It was. I mean, it was a tale of uh, two different teams. We, we took the first one against the Heaters and then uh, lost in grand faction to the Moose. Yes. Well, yeah, let's, well, we can go over that real quick now. The uh, looks like the Beatles started strong, actually, when Buster Biggs ran out this throw on the top of the first and then ended up stealing second base. Um, then Billy LeBoink brings him home with an outfield single to left field, and this put the Beatles ahead early on in that first inning. Yeah, and it was very encouraging to see the uh, Beatles get out to a fast start. Then Des Deshaun LeVon comes in, started strong. He got a strikeout here in the other half of the inning. And it was looking like it was going to be a strong Beagles performance, Pete. Yes, it was. But uh, LeVon was not 100% when he went into the game. And uh, unfortunately, that reared its ugly head rather early. It did. <laughs> well, yeah, and then it, then Franco hits into this double play with one out in the top of the second. And you can, you can see the door starting to swing the other way. And then yeah. the, the fielding woes continued uh, for the Beagles, starting with this line drive by Pedro Nixon in right field. Uh, Franco flat out misses it and you know that's just that's something she should have had yeah my thoughts <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> and then this sort of thing repeats itself when Bobbitt puts one just over Ruby Green to fill in the bases in the bottom of the second um, you know, it, was, it was lucky the Beatles actually got out of that inning after that one but in the bottom of the third Nacho Crisp comes to the plate and ties the game up with a solo blast over the center field wall, notching his third of the season. It always boy, breaks, Nacho Crisp. It always I'd like to see him in a B-Wolf uniform. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. It always breaks up when you say his name. <laughs> and then <clears throat> Dexterous continues his slide um, by missing this hit by Swiner. And then also in the third, again... And then Hieronymus Jackson puts a ball out in left field with two on, putting the Moose out in front. Dexter Dexterism misses an opportunity to throw home with only one out, letting the Moose take another run, throwing a second with actually no one going there. And then Jose Tremendo caps a four-run third with his single in the center field. Yeah, and Tremendo got a lot of work out there in right field, too. He was, uh, he was on his game. He was. Then Nacho Crisp steps to the plate and continues the route with a two-run homer in the bottom of the fourth, making it a 6-1 lead. That's his second home run of the game. He looked great. Yeah, he doubles his home run production in one game. He came in with only two home runs on the season, and he walked out with four. So yeah. <laughs> he's rapidly jumping up in, in the stats. And then the next inning, we see more missed opportunities, like this should-be-easy grab by Torrens, a usually talented second baseman. And then uh, this one by Dexteris on a, a liner from Martinez making the score 7-1 Moose. Um, Rip Dingers lives up to his name with his, with his this two-run bomb in the bottom of the eighth, putting the Moose in front 9-1 at 463 feet. It was his third home run of the year. Yeah, and the B-Wolves couldn't get, they just couldn't get anybody across the plate after that first inning. Yep. Well, and then, then, we're not done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, uh, it's, just, it's a good thing it's October, because this is a horror show. Yeah, you know, Dick Stairs is flat. Here he drops another one, letting another moose on base. And uh, it's just, it's we've seen a lot of that from Dick Stairs this year. Yeah, I don't know if the uh, the uh, appellation of the superstar has, has gotten into his head, and he's he's... You know, maybe playing too too tight or what, but yeah, he's he's not playing good so far this year. And wrapping it up, you got Gina, Gina Torrance doing what she can at the top of the ninth inning. Here she takes Rihanna and Cannon deep to center field with a stand-up double. Now she can really produce, and there's there's one person that's not really dropping the ball, Pete. Yeah, yeah, she's she's been a solid performer, and really the only one. Um, uh, Green, right? Is it? Don't we have? Uh, I can't remember who's the other one. Um, well, the Boink's doing well as well. Yeah, yeah, but we got uh, we got another uh, utility infielder plays first base and 
third base. I can't remember who that oh, was. Oh, yeah, Ruby Green. Yeah. Ruby Green. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. She's been solid, too. So between Ruby Green and, and Torrens, I I'd lo- I wish I could, we could have a whole team of just those two. <laughs> yeah, well, then to end up this, la- this last game, then Freddie Knox brings, it brings in Gina Torrens with this hit to center field. And this was it for the Beavles offense as uh, Laura Franco ends up drilling the last hit right back to the mound to end the game. And it was just, it was a mercy to be over at that point. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've been very happy with the Laura Franco. She's been in for only two games. And, and uh, like you say, she, she didn't come up with the big hit in the last game, but she's been uh, steadily finding her way uh, as a part of this team. So I'm looking forward to big things. I know she's going to break out. It seems like she's going to break out any minute and have a, a multi-hit game. Maybe a couple, and maybe even a couple dingers. She's got the power, so that's what we're hoping for. Well, as we switch gears yeah. towards this game today here in Phoenix, we got eight games to to uh, tell you about. Pete, why don't you start them off with the Gold Coats visiting the Jacks out in Houston? Gold Coats at the Jacks, and it's a back and forth battle with Jacks is hold on to win four seven. The Freedom visit the Hot Corners and take it three one. Moon Stars and the Outlaws. The uh, Moon Stars jump out to an early lead. Hold on seven one. The Nemesis visit the Herbosaurus, and the Herbosaurus take it 5-3. Crocs and the Blowfish, and it's all Crocs, 10-6. The Warblers go to New York to take on the Wide Loads, and the Warblers win it 5-3. All right, the Grapplers and the Sandcats. Grapplers win that one 2-1. Philadelphia Frontrunners go to L.A. to visit the Overdogs, and the Overdogs take it 6-3, beat. Holy cow, they got two wins now, Tommy. The pressure's on. Oh. <laughs> yes. How's, so this is how it's looking right now at the beginning of this game. The Pioneer Conference, the Pathfinder Division. You have the Philadelphia Freedom in front at six and three, followed by the Burners at five and three. Uh, in the Uncharted Division, the Wild Pigs are holding a two-game lead over the Buzzards and the Platypi. The Wild Pigs with a seven and one record, and the Buzzards and Platypi tied up with a five and three record. Uncharted Division also has the only other one win team in the league that's the hot corners and they are one for eight yes yes the the missouri hot corners (laughs) and they got a negative 30 run differential so that's our competition pete (laughs) yes although we've got a negative 34 oh croggy monkey all right so the journey division to to cap off the pioneer conference you got our phoenix sandcats we got one good phoenix team they're leading that division six and three and they're followed by the arctics at five and three over in the Explorer Conference, the Seafarer Division, the Jacks holding uh, a comfortable lead over the Gold Coats. Uh, the, the Jacks with a seven and two record. They're holding a two-game lead over the Gold Coats, who are at five and four. At the bottom there, you got the Overdogs. We're hoping to match their record tonight with a win. <laughs> yes, two and two and seven with a negative fifteen run differential. I mean, compared to the B Wolves, they look like they should be uh, in the playoffs. <laughs> Golly. So, all right, the trade division here. Our trade division. We got the. The Nemesis are winning at five. They're actually tied to lead in first place at five and four with the with the Herbosaurus from Tacoma. Yeah. And the B-Wall is only three and a half games out, so it's still doable. Yeah. It's still doable. You know. Curiosity Division, the Moon Stars, uh, with a six and three record, have a one game lead over the Warblers, who are at five and four. All right. So on the, this is a divisional game today in the trade division. The Water Bolt's right above us at three and five. Which brings us to tonight, Pete. The Water Bullets are three and five extreme speed demons. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, okay, they up. got power too. Look at that power bar. Oh. We got to be careful are, with that long ball. Yeah, they are five out of six power, but they only have two on, on connection. So, if they are connecting, it's usually going deep. Hmm. One interesting thing about the Water Bullets, the some of these these expansion teams from last year were completely shifted up in this change. So this is a new look Water Bolts. This is not the team that won. This is the Water Bolts won the the the, the series last year, but uh, this is a whole new staff they got. They won the series and then promptly fired everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it was a realignment change. Uh, yeah, but it's yeah fresh faces and a totally different That's right. outcome. That's right. We well, brought in too much, too much money. Their taxes are too high. We're getting, we're going in a different direction. We're going to try losing for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's too, it's too exciting. They're going to be starting uh, 
Brent, Gar- Brentwood Garrison on the mound, the right-handed pitcher. He's got good velocity, good movement on the ball. He suffers a little bit in accuracy. He's only one of the season with a 5-4-0 ERA and a 2-4-0 whip. That's right, and they're notable players. They got uh, Cisneros playing second base, and she is locked in. She's all power and all connection and got tons of speed, Tom. Mm. She's hitting 286 with two home runs. Miners in left field, he's got a little bit better than average power, but he's got a, an exceptional ability to connect, and he's got a lot of speed, too. Again, he's hitting 286 as well. Uh, man at shortstop, about, uh, again, a little bit better than average power and connection, but uh, he's got uh, some good speed on the base pad, so he's hitting 273 with a home run. And that's who the water bullets are going to trot out against us. All right, let's beat these guys, people. Well, maybe we can put them that's away right. early. That'll be up to Hurley Bender, the right-hander our star starting pitcher. He's got good velocity, really good movement on the ball, and he's pretty darn accurate. Unfortunately, he's over two of the season with a 5.25 ERA, which is actually a little bit better than Garrison and the one three three whip. Yeah, and I'm, I'm hoping to see a really good game. I mean, uh, again, we know uh, Fran Japani, you know, we've talked about her. We've talked about Dusty Winder coming up. Uh, Bender has not really been getting the ball past a lot of guys. He's not striking out a lot of players. So I'm hoping, again, as a superstar, I'm hoping this will be the game where he starts to assume that mantle and starts to pitch like that, you know. But uh, I don't think we've seen it from him yet this year, Tommy. Mm -hmm. Notable players for the B-Wolves, Elena Franco, again, the new uh, first base person for (laughs) uh, the B-Wolves. She's got a lot of power, uh, better than, I mean, exceptional connection and speed. She's hitting 250 in her first two games with the B-Wolves. Brad Biggs out in left field, again, be, uh, very good power, better than average ability to connect, and he's got some speed on the base pass. If you can get him on there, if you can get him on there, <laughs> I don't know if you got to buy a ticket. I don't know how you get him, in, uh, get him on there, but you get him on there, he can run around. But he's hitting 290 with two home runs, and then... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dexter is our superstar, superstar shortstop who is uh, tense. He's got uh, better than average power, but he's got a great ability to connect and, and great speed, although he's hitting 182. And uh, again, he's another one. You're going to wear that, you know, you're going to wear that S on, on, the, on the jersey for superstar. You got to play like it or uh, eventually we're going to have to, you know, get that thing cut off the front of his, <laughs> front of his. <laughs> yeah it's time for him to put up so yeah he's you know, he has really struggled and again me and tommy i think we talked about it a little bit in the pregame i don't know if he's gripping the bat too tight or if he's put a lot of pressure on himself because he's got that superstar uh you know mantle before him but uh yeah he is he is he is not playing well at all well <clears throat> looking at the lineup he's in it uh, we got Gina Tor- I think we're, we're basically the Beavles went back to their standard um, standard lineup here. They're going to try and get a fresh start, give some of the, the key players another chance to get in this and and, uh, and make a difference again to really see who's gonna who has a home here and who's who's got a bus ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's uh, there's going to be a ma- I think a massive shakeup if we don't start seeing some uh, better baseball. But um, we've got starters. Uh, most of whom were sitting on the bench. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to to say that the starters are are, are horrible or, or playing poorly because they're they're not really playing. But you know, by the same token, there's a reason why they're on the bench. So uh, yeah, we're going to start now. Hurley Bender um, is our number one pitcher, so he's coming up for his third start. We thought we'd you know, like Tommy said, start from square one. Let's start to make an assessment and. Uh, if we don't see some improvement out of these, some of these players, we're going to start. We will not hesitate to start moving people and start bringing new, new faces in. Yep. Well, looking at the lineup here, we got Gina Torrens at second base, as usual, with the the anchor at second base. Hanley Dexter is still at shortstop, despite his performance. <laughs> uh, Buster Biggs out there on left field. Elora, Elora Franco. Uh, not Elaine Franco. Laura Franco's at first base, <laughs> the new first baseman and, and best played player on the team. You got Billy LeBoink out there in right field. Hopefully he ends his career here in five seasons from now. Uh, Magic Moore in center field, still looking for some production out of Magic. Bertha Banks back at third base. So she's been in and out for a little bit with that injury earlier on the season. Johnson Swanson, as usual, behind the plate. 
And Hurley Bender on the mound. Again, Hurley Bender throws the four finger, two finger, cut finger. The curveball and the slider, Pete. Yes, he does. And I'm, I'm, again, I'm, I've got high hopes here. I got high hopes. All right, well, they're about to take the field here. We're getting our drinks settled up in the booth. Here at Red Rack Park, good to be back in Phoenix, Pete. Yeah, and Bender's, I mean, uh, he's got his, his job cut out for him. He's going to have to keep this ball in the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> against a power hitting water bullet team. So well, he's gonna, he, he's got a lot of work ahead of him. He's got a, water bullets got miners in left field man at shortstop. Cisneros at second base, she's locked in. Kent at first base, Wade in center field and he's tense. Wrestles in right, Bracketeer at third base, Ramsey the catcher and Garrison on the mound. Coming up in the top of the first D miners, Justice Mann and Ada Cisnero. Got a capacity count here for a losing ball club. <laughs> you gotta love them. Don't got, these people have jobs? <laughs> we got the half price tickets for the charge to play. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Miners is up. She's hitting 286 with no home runs and two RBIs on the season. First pitch is inside for a ball one. D Miners, the left fielder for the Water Bullets. That's in there for called strike. One and one. Evens up the count. That's down. A little low. That offering's a little low. Ball two. Two and one. Lots of bee wolves That's wear inside. out there. Nice to see that they haven't given up on the team. <laughs> yeah. That pitch was inside for a called ball. Three balls, one strike. That's fouled off along the first baseline. Three and two. Full count. There's a shot to, oh, that's in the left center field. Brad Biggs picks it up. Mm. And a stand-up double to start up this start the game. Justice Man. Justice Man, the shortstop. Sitting 273 with a home run and an RBI. Man on second base with no outs. That pitch is down, ball one. One and oh. Pickoff play. Torrens almost gets him at second, but he's able to get in there just in the nick of time. 1-0. Oh. It's in there for a called strike. 1-1. One one. Bender steps off the mound, looks back at second, forces that guy to get back. 1-1. <laughs> one <and> one. <laughs> There's a shot to Torrens, who's making it to oh. second. Oh. Shot a hot shot to uh, Torrens at second base, who was able to pluck it out of the air. And then there was a foot race back to second base, uh, but the runner was able to get back in time. One out. Ada Cisneros hitting 286 with two home runs, and five RBIs. She's locked in. Count is one and one to Cisneros. Runner at second in the top of the first. Ooh, outside ball two. Two and one. Oh. A shot in the center. Crap. Oh, and it's all the way back to the wall. Going for third. Oh, oh and Cisneros Bam. with a triple. Now batting the first baseman. That one was Number in the gap 62. just past the center field. Was able to get all the way back to the wall. Well, this is not how we want him to start, Pete. No, it's not. The uh, why? Why was it not giving me the person closest to the ball? <laughs> Two outs. Did you see that? It was started with Bertha Banks, then it went to the um, left fielder, then it gave me Hurley uh, Dexteris for some reason. It's like why? why I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm pushing the stick or something. Uh. But again, those are the things we talked about before. Uh, Trespass Wade is up. He's hitting 250. No home runs. Two RBIs. Cisnero standing at third. The Water Bullets have taken a one to nothing lead. Called strike. The count is one and one with two outs in the top of the first. Come on. Shot. How could they hit it all of them in the same field. spot? And Magic Moore picks it up and gets the ball in quickly to Dexterous at second. But Jeez. Water Bullets pick up on the second run. Their lead is two to nothing in the top of the first. Runner at first. Ooh. And uh, the runner took off from first and stole second base. So now they're standing at second. Two outs, no balls, one strike. 
Menace Re wrestles is hitting 300 on the season. There's a pickoff play. Dexterous almost is able to get uh, the runner. Delivers popped up behind the plate, and Johnson Swanson's tracking it, but out of play. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Big pitch here. There's a roller to Bertha Banks, picks it up, makes the throw to Franco at first to retire the side. But the Water Bullets pick up two runs on three hits in the top of the first. Coming up in the bottom of the first, Gina Torrens, Henley Dexteris, and Buster Biggs. Going to look at Brentwood Garrison. Garrison. A disappointing start there for the, for the B-Wolves. Just put everything in the center field. Torrens. Torrens at 355 on the season. Strange sidearm delivery by uh, Brentwood Garrison. Hard to read. First pitch comes in ball, second strike. Third one, strike two. One and two the count. Bottom of the first two nothing bullets. She reaches out and pushes that left, but it goes to Bracketeer at third base, and they get her out at first. Now batting. Dexteris. Dexteris is hitting 182 on the season. First pitch is high. Ball one. Ball two. Garrison coming to the plate fast and furious. A ground ball to Brookwater at third. Makes the play and retires. Dexteris, two outs. Okay. Buster Biggs coming up hitting 290 this season. Mostly power, but good contact. Hopefully Buster can get out there in the field. Takes the first pitch inside. Ball one. Coming all the way across there. That one's high for ball two. We've been here before. 2-0 the count. That one in there, and he hits it. Texas Leaguer in the left field, and he's going to get a stand-up single. Miners holds him up at first base. Way to go, Buster Briggs. Right. Now back. Oh, Franco hitting 250 on the season. She's playing first base for those water bullets. I mean, for the B. <laughs> first pitch is outside. Ball one. 1-0. One and oh. It's a hit and run, and it's into right field, yes. and everybody's safe. So Alora Franco picks up a single. Well, Billy LeBoyne up here. Billy LeBoyne hitting 290 of the season. Boy, a one over the wall would put them in the lead. No pressure, LeBoyne. Two outs. Takes the first pitch into for a strike. Oh, won the count. Second pitch is oh, high, no. and he pops that up. It's going to be caught by the shortstop, J-Man, to end the side. But we saw us a little bit of offense, Pete. Yeah, uh, that was a rising fastball. He thought it was coming in. Um, Harry Breck, Brecketeer, Lennox Ramsey, and Brentwood Garrison going to face Bender. Bender threw 21 pitches in that first inning and gave up three oh, hits. The third baseman. Yeah, we saw Number some mail offense. Brecketeer hit 222 on the season. One home run, three RBIs. He's got good power. Not, not the best at contact, but he's all right. Takes first pitch in there, a little bit high, ball one. Ball on the count. Second pitch right in there for strike. Strike one. One apiece. Two nothing water ball from the top of the second. Low pressure situation here in Phoenix. Some of the fans on their feet wishing Hurley Bender well. That when he gets that two finger on the outside corner, makes it in for a strike. One and two count. Ooh, curveball's a little bit high, misses two apiece. Hurley Bender getting ready to throw his pitch. <laughs> I couldn't tell you which pitch it was. That's a line drive to Franco. She runs it down for the first down. Now battle, the catcher, number 30. Lennox Ramsey comes up hitting 357. Mostly power, not a whole lot of contact. So if he can put movement on this ball, he may be able to fake her out. Bender's getting ready to throw his 27th pitch. Gets a signal from Johnson. Delivers in there for a strike. Oh, won the count to Ramsey. Second pitch in there for a strike as well. Now he's ahead of her in the count. 0-2. With one out, she gets a piece of that one, pushes it right down, foul, still into the count. She plays back in the right-handed batter box, does Ramsey. Swinging for the fences. Bender gets his signal, winds up, delivers, swing and a miss, strike three. Bender gets his first strike out there. And that's what we like to see from Bender. And he's going up yes, against sir. Brentwood Garrison, the pitcher for the uh, water bullets in the right-handed batter's box. An angry looking pitcher. He's the, he doesn't have bad power for a pitcher. Takes a slider on the outside corner, makes it in. Strike 101 the count. I like those glasses on the ump. Second pitch fastball, upper left, makes it. 0 oh 2. One more to go. The wind up delivery. That one just misses inside. 
Bender's getting ready to throw his 34th pitch in the second inning. Nope, the curveball misses inside. outside. And he's almost halfway to 70. Looking for a strike here. That one's pushed down the right side foul. Still two apiece with two outs. That one's in there. No call or no swing strikeout. Coming up in the bottom of the second, Magic Moore, Bertha Banks, Johnson, Swanson, Garrison threw 14 pitches in that first inning and gave up two hits. Let's go, B Wolves. Got to be uh, patient at the plate. Let yeah, this Garrison guy throw himself out. <laughs> Got to get some singles. Magic Moore hitting 133 on the season. One RBI. Allen's low, ball one. Miss. Evens up the count, one and one. Oh. Swing and a miss, strike two. <laughs> one and two, Magic Moore behind in the count. There's a shot to the third baseman, Rucketeer, picks it up, makes the throw to Ken at first to retire Magic Moore. That's like the third, out. third line drive to the third baseman we got, Pete. Bertha Banks comes yeah. up. Yeah. Only hitting 100 on the season. She's more power than contact, but she's good at both. First pitch crosses inside, ball one. Second pitch. In almost the same spot, but that one made in for a strike. One apiece. Swing and a miss at a rising fastball. One and two. Swing and lay down last one. It's a four-pitch strikeout. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Johnson Swanson hitting 188 with no home runs and an RBI. Garrison's up to 22 pitches. Allen's inside. Ball one. One and oh. Two outs. Nobody out. Swanson takes that pitch, evens up the count, one and one, fouled off along the third baseline, one and two. That's a slow roller back to the mound. Garrison picks it up, makes the throw to first to retire the side. <sighs> D Miners, who's one for one with a double. Justice Man, 0 for one, and Ada Cisneros, one for one with a triple. Bender's thrown 36 pitches. He's got two strikeouts and given up three hits. The left fielder. Number Miners 19. one for one with a double. It's hit 310 on the season. Playing left field for the water bullets. Checks his swing for a called first strike. Strike one. It's in there for called second strike. Oh and two. Water bullets holding a two to nothing lead in the top of the third. Miners pops that up. LeBoink is out Oof. and makes the catch from the shoe tops. <laughs> One out. Justice Man, shortstop. Hitting 261 with a home run and an RBI. He's 0 for 1 on the day, I believe. That's in there for a called strike. Strike one. A little outside with that one. One and one. That's popped up. Gina Torrens is calling everybody off. Popped up. Torrens makes the catch for the second out. Cisneros, one for one with a triple and an RBI. She's hitting 306. Two home runs, six RBIs. She's playing second base for the Water Bullets. Takes the first pitch for a cold strike. Strike one. Bender delivers. A little outside. Ball one. One and one. Two outs. Water bullets leading two to nothing. At the top of third, a check swing. Old strike, one and two, two outs. <laughs> check swing called third strike, and Ada Cisneros goes down on strikes. All right. No runs, no hits, and no errors. Hurley Bender's first at bat. Gina Torrens 0 for 1. Hanley Dexter is 0 for 1. Garrison's up to 26 pitches in the third inning. He's got a strikeout and given up two hits. Hurley Bender's got no batting average so far this season. He doesn't. He's got good power for a, for a pitcher, though. Ooh, tries to use their big swing for the fence. It goes a little high. 0 and 1 the count. Second pitch 0 and 2. And uh, probably Garrison's going right for the strikeout. Lays a bunt down the first base line. He's not going to be able to run it out, though. One down. Yeah. Gina Torrance, 0 for 1, hitting 344 with an RBI. She's 0 for 1 in the day. One out, bottom of the third. That's inside. Ball 1, 1 and 0. Swing mm -hmm. and a miss. Evens up the count, 1 and 1. 
That's a shot to the third baseman, Bracketeer, who picks it up, makes the throw across the diamond to Kent. And once again, that third baseman has another put out. Yeah, it's, it's just it's hitting practice to him. Dexter is up 0 for 1 on the day, only 176 on the season. That's his hit. He hits it to left field, but look at that, Pete, right into the glove of Miners for the third out. Just hangs up there. No runs, no hits, no errors. Amelia Kent 0 for 1, Trespass Wade 1 for 1, and Menace Wrestles 0 for 1. Benders at 46 pitches with three strikeouts and giving up three hits. As we move into the top of the fourth, Water Bullets with a 2 nothing lead. Amelia Kent 0 for 1. She's got power against left-handers. That's not going to help her against Hurley, who's a right-hander. Pops that one up down the left side. It's going to drift foul. Only one on the count. Standing in the right-handed box is Kent. Check swing on that second one, and it's inside. Ball one. One apiece. Top of the fourth inning. 2 nothing Water Bullets. Got a lot of power, does Kent. That one's outside, oh. and it gets past first base, and she's going to make it with a single. Now batting the center fielder, number Just past Wade, one for one with a single and an RBI, 270 on the season. And uh, Wade's got, bad got, she's got bad jumps at first base. First pitch in there, slider, only one the count, strike one. Second pitch, tries to get him going on a fastball outside, doesn't go. Oh, one and one. Pots that one well, down no. the left side. Dexterous oh, oh. stops it, but doesn't catch it. Okay. This is trouble. <laughs> yeah. This is trouble. No First outs. First and second, no outs. Menace Russell plays at third base. He's got power, speed, swing and a miss on the inside corner. Strike 101 the count. Hopefully they hit into a double play here. Menace Russell's hitting 286 on the season. That one. Bender to third. Can't quite get the double play, but they get the lead runner, one down. Now batting, the third baseman. And Harry Number Bracketeer, 17. the third baseman, is doing so much damage in the field. He's 0 for 1 today. He got speed at second base. Bender's throwing his 55th pitch. Right there, inside corner strike one. Bracketeer standing in the right-hand batter's box. Play still at third base. Slide, slider on the outside corner misses. Ball one, one apiece, one out. Inside corner, oh, that one's on. going right into the gap, as they all do. And the bases are loaded. One out. And one out. So the play's at home base. Lennox Ramsey's up 0 for 1 on the day. Pressure is amped up here a little bit. Ramsey hitting 333 on the season. Swings at that slider inside. Strike 1, 0 1 the count. That one low and away, she doesn't chase. Ball 1, 1 apiece. Ruby Bender's got about half the gas in the tank. Nope, that one's inside low. Ball two. Two and one the count to Ramsey. That one makes it outside slider. Two apiece with one out. It's a tense situation. Ooh, that, that pitch misses a little bit high and he's full count. He's in jeopardy of walking in a run. So he, he pretty much has to throw to Ramsey. Maybe he'll put movement on it. Strike three for out number two. Way to go, Bender. Now One more to go. Number 50, number 50. Brentwood Garrison locked in. Play at any base. The closest base. No, Check swing inside misses. Ball one. One no the count. Hoping to get out of this inning is Bender. As cool as a cucumber. That one's hit to Dexterous. You can't pick a ball up. They're going to get two runs. And Swanson can't hold the ball. Jeez. I haven't seen Dexteras catch a ball at shortstop all season, Pete. Now we got runners at first and second. It's 4 nothing water bullets. That one goes over the head of Banks at third base. The throw coming around third. He holds up. That's a double. And now it's 5 nothing water bullets. And this game's getting away from him early, Pete. Yep. Justice Man Better. over... Feel like it's over already. <laughs> Justice Man 0 for 2. Everybody hits into the gaps on these teams. I can't, I can't get him to locate his pitches. He's just... Uh. Well, they pick up uh, three more runs on, what, five hits? Yeah. Buster Biggs, 1 for 1. Alora Franco, 1 for 1. Billy LeBoyne, 0 for 1. Garrison, I don't know how many pitches he threw. <laughs> 
Biggs is one for one with a single hit and 313, two home runs and two RBIs. Water bullets are winning, five to nothing. Go inside. Count is even, one and one. There's a shot to center field. It's gonna hang up there, and the center fielder's under it. Makes the catch for the first time. Well, Franco up, one for one with a single. One of the few Beebles who can do something. <laughs> Mostly power, good contact. That was Garrison throwing his 37th pitch. Swings quite a bit late. Franco for the strike. She reaches out, hits that one to the third base. Pete Bracketeer picks it up as usual, throws her out. Yep. First base. Same thing. Billy LeBoy, go for one, hitting 281. He's got two home runs and three RBIs. Scores 5 nothing. Water Bullets in the bottom of the fourth. It's in there for a call. It's strike, strike one. That's a ball, ball, ball one. He's just hit 40 pitches. There's a shot to Clemens Cisneros at second. She dives, pick, makes the grab, and then throws LeBoy out. It's Three nice up, to see him down. catch a ball like that. I, I, we don't yeah. see much of that here in Phoenix. No, water bullets flew in in five, zip. Ada Cisneros, one for two with a triple and a strikeout. Amelia Kent, one for now two man, and uh, the second baseman, number six. One for two with a triple and an RBI, hitting 297 with two home runs. Harley Bender. Hurley. Hurley Bender. Bender. <laughs> Hurley Bender. <laughs> you like to deliver. He's tense now. Yes. And he delivers that one for a strike. Oh, that one's inside for a ball. One and one. He's at 69 pitches in the fifth inning. <laughs> I know. That one was hit with authority. <laughs> <laughs> one ball, two strikes, but it was fouled off. Unfortunately, Cisneros doesn't do very well with a two-strike count. She lets that one go. That's two strikeouts now for Cisneros, who came in here riding high. Amelia Kent, the first baseman, is one for two with a single. She's hitting 200 on the season. There's a shot. There's out one to over the wall. Over the wall. That's a home run. Six to nothing water bullets. And their 200 hitter. Just hit a 387-foot home run, her first home run and third RBI now of the season. The center fielder, Trespass Wade, 87. he's tense as well. It's two for two, though, on the day with two singles. Bender delivers. Ground ball back to the mound. Bender throws to Franco to retire. Right that fielder, guy, Menace Wrestles, the right fielder. Go for two on the day. Two outs in the top of the fifth. Water bullets have exploded and are out to a six run lead. Six to nothing. First pitch is in there for a called strike. That one's outside. Ball one, one and one. That's in there for a called second strike. One and two, two outs. Menace wrestles the right fielder, swings and misses, strike three. He's out. But they add another run in the top of the fifth, making it six to nothing. Magic Moore, Bertha Banks, and Johnson Swanson all, all 0 for the day. Garrison's thrown 41 pitches as we go into the fifth inning. He's got one strikeout and given up two hits. Magic Moore. Magic, Magic Moore. Moore. 0 for 1. Hitting 125. Takes first pitch and it's a strike. 0 on the count. The second pitch is inside. Ball one. One apiece. There, Moore hits one, and it's going to go right into the glove of the center fielder, Pete. T. Wade catches it. Fly ball. This is horrible. This is just horrible. <laughs> Bertha Banks. Bertha Banks. She's hitting point oh nine one on the season. Fouls that one off along the third baseline. Uh, fouls that one off along the first baseline. Now she's in the hole. 0-2 oh with one out. That one was low, ball one, one and two. There's a shot in the center field. That'll drop for a clean single, and Bertha Banks is standing at first. All right, Bertha, way to go. Yeah, let's do something this here. Johnson Swanson, 0 for 1. More power than anything. He's an RBI dead, though, but uh, Brentwood Garrison's locked in here on the mound. First pitch in there, first strike. 0 on the count. Not really much of a stealing threat. Is uh, that ball outside, one apiece. With one out. Popped up Texas Leaguer, and that's right in the glove of Cisneros, second pace. 
Wow. Unbelievable. How wow. Happen. Yeah, I know. It's just, it's it's like there's a glitch or something. I, this yeah. is horrible. Hur Hur Hurley Bender, 0 for 1. Ball inside. Allen's inside, ball 1. Allen's high, ball 2. That's in there for a called first strike. 2 and 1 with two outs, bottom of the fifth. There's a shot. Foul. Evens up the count. Two and two with two outs. Swing and a miss. Strike three. But we thank Bertha Banks for the single. <laughs> Harry Bracketeer, one for two. Lennox Ramsey, 0 for two with two strikeouts. And Brentwood Garrison, one for two. Bender with 77 pitches. He's got six strikeouts and given up nine hits. Now batting the third baseman. And yet Number the B-Wolf offense still struggling, Tom. I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. You Harry, know? Well, the defense, too. Oh, Six shoot. nothing. Harry Bracketeer up at the plate. Bender delivers the first one in there. Strike. Oh, one the count. Bless you, Bender. Trying to get himself together here. Throwing his 79th pitch. Closing out on 80. That one's popped up in the center field. Moore's running. And makes the there catch first out. Whew. Yeah. Simple, saw simple ones like that. I saw a lot of guys walking. I didn't see a lot of guys running. I'm like... like Lennox Ramsey 0 for 2 on the day. Bender getting ready to throw number 80. Does it? Inside. Misses inside corner ball 1. Mostly a power hitter Ramsey in the right hand batter's box. Takes the first, second pitch outside strike. 1-1 one one with 1 out. Nobody on. Top of the 6-6-0 six, six, water bullets. Curveball misses high. Ball 2-2-1 two, two, to count. Oh crap. That one right in there. She pushes a foul. Infield's going to... Uh, Going to stay where they're at. That one's popped up to center field. Magic Moore coming in. Makes a catch for number two. Now batting the pitcher, number 51. Brentwood Garrison, one for two of the single and two RBIs. It's been an outfield single. Two outs on the six. Hoping to put him away here. Curveball makes it in there for a strike. <coughs> oh, won the count to Garrison. That one's right in there as well. 0-2. Oh, I think we were in this position last time, though. And there he hits that one to down the first base side to Franco, who's going to toss it over to Bender to end that side. <coughs> All right. Gina Torrens, 0 for 2. Hanley Dexter is 0 for 2. Buster Biggs, 1 for 2. Garrison at 56 pitches, 2 strikeouts, and 3 hits. Water Bullets are leading with 6 runs off of 9 hits. Meanwhile, the uh, B-Wolves have no runs off of 3 hits. <laughs> <laughs> Torrens 0 for 2 on the day, but she's hitting 333 on the season. Watches the first pitch in there for a strike. 0 and 1 the count. Second pitch, strike. 0 and 2 the count. She's quickly down. Really? We'll see what happens here. Pops that one up in the left field. That's going to be caught. Drop. Drop. It drops. Wade picks it up. Holds Woo. up the first. Oh, he got lucky there, Pete. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. She tried. <laughs> Hanley Dexterra is 0 for 2. She's hitting 171 on the season. He's tense. Gina Torrance takes off. She's in there with a stolen base. All right. Runner at second. We're 90, 90 feet closer. There's a shot. Come on, Hanley. Get out of here. Oh, Rob. Oh, oh, and it's no. going to be a double play. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh. It goes from being the, almost a two-run homer to double play. Buster Biggs up one That's for two. Bad pitch <laughs> running on my part. That's first, I thought that was gone. <laughs> first pitch outside, second pitch in, in there. Strike one and one. The count with two outs. <laughs> he swings it. Almost hit him in the face, and that's going to land in the glove of Wade and end that side. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. Jesus. <laughs> D minors, Justice Man, Adison Cisneros, two for three with uh, two doubles. For minors, Justice Man's 0 for three. Just, just so you know, if it was going out, you don't need to make her run around. She'll, she'll make it if it goes. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> D minors. Well, that's another thing we talked about too is mistakes that we make. You know, I made on that play. That's for sure. Three twenty-three. For D minors, no home runs, three RBIs. <laughs> He's in the hole, 0 and 2. Bender got uh, that one's low, 1 and 2, hoping to get minors to chase. There's that. Come oh on. no, 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 no. 
Ground ball. The crowd's giving him the booze. And she throws it into the dugout. And he takes a second base. Torrance threw it away into the dugout. <laughs> oh, boy, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ball one. <laughs> Ball, outside. Ball two. <laughs> He's at third now. Wow. Yeah, how did he get third? He should have gotten second on the overthrow, but he doesn't he shouldn't get a second base for it. Foul ball. Two and two. Count is even. Shot the Dexteras. What? Oh, he caught it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was going to say. Now batting, <laughs> caught it on the fly. Baseman, number 16. Cisneros. Well, why doesn't it say one out? I don't. Did he catch it on the fly? I thought he did. Huh. Oh, wow. Tom, I'm, I'm blowing this for you, pal. I'm sorry. That's That's, all right. I thought it was a fly. I thought it was a line drive. I was wondering why he didn't throw, but then I thought, oh, I guess he... <laughs> so here's my thinking. Is he makes the catch, and I wanna, I'm want to. i holding the ball so the guy from third doesn't go in. Yeah. And then I, I meant to throw it to home just to make sure, you know, he couldn't get in, but I hit the wrong button. I mashed the wrong button. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm horrible. I'm playing horrible. That's all right. That's all right. That's Balfour. Tats Belfort's coming. He's got four-seam fastball slider and a curveball. This is this. Yeah, I, folks, I have got to apologize to Tom because this is all me. <laughs> this is all me. All One right. strike. Adison Cisneros is up. She's in 286, two home runs, six RBIs. She's got a double, and uh, that was a dumb play. And an RBI. <laughs> yeah, she's got a double, two strikeouts, a single, and now an RBI. Yeah. Amelia Kent, 250 with a home run and three RBIs. He's in there for a called strike. Strike one. Ben on first and second with no outs. There's a high fly ball to Magic Moore, who makes the uh, catch. And throw he's running ball. to third. He's throw running the, to third. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. He's coming home. He's coming home, and he's going to make it. <laughs> I, I swear, Tom. I, you know, I'm hitting the button, and nothing happened. <laughs> Oh. I, I literally had to hit the ball, uh, the button twice. The oh. thing went up. He never threw it. I had to hit it a second time to get him to throw. Oh my God! <laughs> Two balls, one out. God. <laughs> it just goes along with the rest of my day. One uh, <laughs> strike. Two balls, one shot. I've had a horrible day, and it's just continuing here. Two strikes, count is even, two and two. God, bless it, I'm so pissed, I can't even tell you. One out, um, top of the seventh. That's a strikeout for Tetz Belfort. Two outs, men on first. Menace wrestles, the right fielder. He's 0 for 3 with two, hitting 261. <laughs> that one's inside, ball one. in there for a called strike one and one Belfort with a 6.57 ERA and a 1.3 whip that one's outside ball two two and one that one's low it's not three and one there it goes that's a shot to deep left field and that's out of here this game is over I think Tom Oh boy. Jesus Christ. I don't know what this was all me. I can't blame the players. This is all I just had a horrible game. I just like third that. Baseman, Harry Bracketeer. I've given up for like three. three home runs, I think. Well, we knew they're home I mean they're a home run hitting team, so you know, I think we were doing a pretty good job of keeping the ball in until until I, you know, until everything that happened. <laughs> Ten to nothing. Um, and this seems to be, yeah, this is it. We get beat by at least 10 runs a game. Balfour's ERA is up to 8.03. That's uh, down the. <laughs> and I keep mashing the wrong friggin' button. 
four ends, a lot of lag right there. And man, I almost met, I mean, he almost beat out the throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a ground ball to the second baseman, the guy almost beat out the freaking throw. <laughs> it's just <laughs> 10 to nothing, 12 hits, freaking B Wolves. Elora, I don't even know. I just, <laughs> I'm having a crappy day. Uh. Pop that up into foul territory along the left field line. Oh, out of play. 0-1. Oh 1-1. One. One one. Two and one. Mm. Two and two. Franco. With an even count. That shot is the third baseman. Bracketeer picks it up, makes the long throw to first. Franco is retired. The right fielder, Billy LeBoyne. Billy LeBoyne go for two, likes a high pitch. Looking at going over three. Swings, he smashes that one straight to Cisneros and lives up to it. He ain't getting on base today, Pete. Nobody is. <laughs> Magic Moore hit 118. He's 0 for 2 on the day. There's a shot to deep left field. That's out of here. And there it is. That's the game, folks. 10 to 1. That's the game. <laughs> 364 yard Magic Moore's first home run and second RBI of the season. Way to go, Magic. <laughs> Sorry, charged uh, employees. <laughs> Bertha Banks is here at one for two on the day. Bertha's a, a bright spot in a dark lineup. Takes the first pitch for a strike. A beautiful pitch. I bet you wish she had that one again. And she almost did. That one misses ball one. One and one the count. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Another one's a ball. Two and one the count. That one just inside. And she hits it right into the glove of Cisneros. We're out in the three. Yep. Coming up. Lennox, Ramsey, Brentwood, Garrison, and D minors. Belfort's thrown 19 pitches. He's got a strikeout and given up two hits. The uh, water belts with a 10 to 1 lead. Now batting the in the top of the eighth. <laughs> Lennox, Ramsey, over 3, 291 in the season. Uh, Belfort's looking tense, even though I thought he was pitching okay. First pitch to strike. 0 1 on the count. His 21st pitch to strike 2. See if he gets something back here. Lennox Ramsey looking content to not swing the bat. Johnson Swanson gives a signal. Balfour delivers. That one just misses inside. Ball one. One and two to count. Inside corner check swing strike. That's good to see, Pete. Way to go, Balfour. Button Garrison one for three with a single. Getting 333 on the season for a pitcher. He's locked in. First pitch is in there for a strike. The inf Infield's going to stay where they're at. Second one goes right up the middle, as it is wont to do. And he's two for four. Three for four is D minors with two doubles, a single, and an RBI. And he's got a fast pitcher at first base. Throw on pitch number 26. The curveball inside makes it for a strike. Goes to first, tries to get him. Oh, just close. Makes it back in time. Well, one the count. Second pitch, he anticipated that. It's going high fly ball to right center field. And caught by Magic Moore, who's going to hold him up at first base. That didn't look like an easy one. Dexter is dropping an easy toss. <laughs> Justice, man. Over four. What are the chances he goes over five? Anticipated that first one. Infield's going to guard the lines. That pitch hit down the line. Foul ball. One and one the count. Two outs. One more to go. Play at first or second base. A lot of speed at first base. Strike two. Nice curve ball in there. One and two the count. Belfort throws his 31st pitch right here. Inside corner. No swing. Strikeout. About it. Johnson Swanson 0 for 2, Tats Balfour's first at bat, and Gina Torrens 1 for 3. Garrison's only thrown 75 pitches, He's got two strikeouts, going to five hits. He may he may go for another call game, complete game here against us. That's our thing. Oh, no, there. Oh, wait, the catcher's coming out. 
Lennox Ramsey, the catcher, is getting pulled for smoke snow. Tweaked shoulder, Balfour. Uh oh. That's Swing and a miss. Strike one to Swanson. There's a roll roller to the shortstop man who picks it up and throws Swanson out at first base. We're going to sit Balfour and go Ted. with the closer? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pull him. He's strained anyway. Yeah. That's good because, you know, our pitching staff yeah. has been too healthy for too long. <laughs> About time I think we did. Now batting, Ruby. Green. Ruby Green coming in to pinch hit. She's known as an RBI man with although there's nobody on base. So we'll see what she can do here. Mostly a contact hitter, Ruby Green, but she's got good power too. Takes first pitch high, ball one. One no count. Bottom of the eighth, ten to one water bolts. Ooh, swing and a miss at that second one. One apiece. High, and she jacks that one right field. Pete, I think we got another home run here. Up. He dives, but it's out in right field wall. Ruby Green takes it out. Good choice in the pinch hitting. She hits that ball 365. It's her first home run and second RBI of the season. And Ruby Green puts a second one on the board, Pete. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Gina Torrens, one for three with a single. There goes Garrison. All right, we finally chased him out. <laughs> Dante Hamilton, the closing pitcher, is coming in. He's got a 6.75 ERA, a 1.69 whip. He's got four strikeouts on the season. He's feeling neutral and fit. He's got about average velocity, better than average junk and accuracy. And uh, he's not full ac uh, full stamina, so he must have pitched recently. Torrens steps in. First offering from Hamilton's uh, ball. There's a shot. Oh, my gosh. Torrens <laughs> got a hold of that one, but it was foul. One and one. There's a ground ball to uh, Kent at first. Foot race. Kent wins it. Two outs. Yeah, the exterior is rattled. You want to change him? Oh, uh, I guess not. Oh. No play. Takes the first pitch right. strike in there. Only one on the count. Second pitch. Smashes that right up the middle. Hey, Dixteris. Maybe he'll get something back there. Gets with a single. At least he didn't go over. <coughs> That's right. That's right. Buster Biggs, one for three with a single, 294 on the season with two home runs and two RBIs. It would be nice to see him get a, a, a home run here. First one's in there for called strike. Strike one. Biggs, there's a shot down the third baseline, just foul. 0 oh and 2. That one's high. Ball one. 1 and 2 to. There's a smash to Cisneros. She picks it up, makes the throw to first, to Kent at first. To retire the sides, but the B Wolves get one more, Tom, making the score 10 2. Ruby Green is going to have to be replaced for uh, Smack Avery. Smack Avery, the closing pitcher, has got a four seam fastball and a curveball. Sitting, uh, ZRA is 4.15 with a 0 0.92 whip and one strikeout on the season. Coming up in the uh, top of the ninth, Ada Cisneros, Amelia Kent, and Trespass Wade. Cisneros two for four with a triple and two strikeouts. Kent with a, it was two for three with a home run and trespass way two for four with a strikeout. Number 16. Cisneros two for four. It's known as a bit of a whiffer if you can get 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 her behind in the count. That one's outside. Ball one. One and oh. That's in there for calls. First strike. One and one. Cisneros hitting 308 on the season with two home runs. That's in there for a called second strike, one and two. There's a wow. shot way <coughs> deep, but way foul up in the second deck, <laughs> upper deck. And we'll do it again. One ball, two strikes. Wow, there not a whiff. Hey, Dick Steers grabs it, and he can't make the throw. Couldn't make the throw fast enough, no. But he was able to keep the ball from rolling in the, to the outfield. <laughs> Amelia Kent, two for three. She's got power versus left-handed pitchers. Almost got Cisneros at first with the pickoff move. No outs. Cisneros at first. That's in there for a call. Strike. Strike one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Kent in the hole. 0 and 2. She's hitting 250 in the year with one home run and oops. Four, <laughs> four RBIs. Swing and a miss, strike three. 
Smack Avery with a strikeout right there. Big time, timely strikeout. Cisneros standing at first. Trust pass Wade is tense. He's hitting 275. He broke his bat, and that's going to be fouled off out of play. 0 and 1. That's low inside. Ball one. One and one. One out top of the ninth. That's fouled off. Along the first baseline. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And Avery. Smack Avery now with two strikeouts. Menace wrestles. He's one for four with a home run and two RBIs. Pickoff play to try and keep Cessneros close to the base. She was in there safe. She was able to get back in time. Swing and a miss by Russells. 0-1. That's in there for called second strike. 0-2. Two. two outs. It's top of the ninth. That one's popped up along the right uh, third baseline out of play. 0-2. Another pickoff move keeping Cessneros honest. Avery delivers. Swing and a miss. Strike three. He struck out all the, all three outs in the <laughs> top of the ninth. Alora Franco, Billy LeBoink, and Magic Moore are going to face Hamilton, who's thrown nine pitches and given up one hit. Score is 10-2. B-Wolves are clawing their way back. <laughs> State more to go. Yeah. Alora Franco, one for three with a single. <clears throat> Hopefully going to go two for four here, Pete. Pitch is right in there for a strike. Oh, one the count. Second pitch, outside. just outside ball. One apiece. Bottom nine, ten, two bullets. No, that one's a little bit low. Ball two, two and one the count. He's a little bit afraid to throw to her. That one's oh, high and inside on. strike two. She swings at that one and gets it down the left side. It's hit by the third baseman, but he bracketeer couldn't quite field it, and she makes it to first beat. Yes, sir. Single. Billy LeBoin, go for three on the day. He's feeling tense. Maybe he likes the high pitch. Maybe looking at the bat last of Billy LeBoin. Here comes Poke Foster for uh, Billy LeBoin. Poke Foster does not have uh, much power. He's got exceptional ability to contact, and then he's got no speed. So. <laughs> you didn't really sell it there, Pete. Ball outside. That's outside. One and one. There's a oh. smash. That's it. Oh. Double play. Poke Foster hits into a double play. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. Magic Moore. Magic Moore up. One for three with a homer. Ooh, he wanted that one, but it's a little bit I'm late. Getting so much lag. One, one. Second one's a ball, one apiece. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. There's the pitch, the hit, right to the third baseman, and we've seen this many times before. Out three. Off the end of the bat. And the B-Wolves lose. Good gosh. What the heck was that? Not even. Well, you know, I mean, the big issue was me today. I just, again, I, I just I would fell apart. I don't know what happened, but, yeah, that's, I can't, can't put that all on them. Uh, no, I, I mean, had a horrible. I gave up. The, I gave up the runs in the first, in the fifth, and in the seventh. I gave up seven runs. Yeah, I know, but like the seventh is where I had my problems, isn't it? That's where I, I you know, I was messing everything up. So that's not really on you. That's on me. <laughs> no. That was me. Well, the B Wolves got eight hits, two runs, but they gave up ten hit, ten runs off of fourteen hits. B Wolves got yeah. an error. Looking at the water bolts there, you got a three for five, a three for five, two for four. They get two home runs. And, uh, we've, yeah. B so did we, though. B I mean, Wolves, we yeah. Yeah, we got our home runs with nobody on. One for four, one for four. Oh, for three, LeBoink, that's unusual. Um, one for four and more. Oh, for three, Swanson. That's, we expect that from Swanson. Pitching, Garrison takes the win. 7.1 innings, 6 hits, 2 earned runs, 2 strikeouts, 2 home runs off. And he ends with a 4.02 ERA, and he's 1-1 one in one the season. He's replaced by Hamilton, who comes in and throws 1.2, gets 2 hits off him, and ends with a 5.14 ERA. 
And for the B Wolves, uh, Harley Bender gets another loss. He's 0 for 3, 0 and 3 on the day on the season. He uh, pitched six innings, which really isn't enough. <laughs> yeah. He gave up 10 hits, eight uh, earned runs, uh, had six strikeouts though, and they gave up one home run. He's leaving with a 7.5 ERA. Uh, Tats Balfour came in and he pitched two innings, gave up three hits, two earned runs, had three strikeouts, gave up a home run. His ERA is up to 7.24, and he left. Um, he was nursing an injury, right, Tom? A strain or something? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so uh, that tweaked made like yeah, the shoulder. That may be uh, something that will hamper him for a little while. Uh, and then Smack Avery came in, deliver, uh, uh, pitched one inning, gave up one hit. He had three strikeouts. His ERA is down to 3.38, and his record is one, and w- uh, one loss, one save. So... Mm-hmm. Three stars of the game. First star is uh, I- Ada Cisneros, the A second baseman. Three for five with a triple, two RBIs, and two runs. <laughs> She's followed at second by D minors, the B plus left fielder. He's three for five as well with two doubles, an RBI, and two runs. And then rounding out the three stars, uh, the Amelia Kent, the B minus first baseman. Two for four with a home run, two RBIs, and she scored a run. And here we are on the Pete. Pete, it's closer than you thought, man. You got five hits to my three. Both got a home run. We both got an RBI. I got a great catch yeah. and a stolen base. Yeah. You had seven strikeouts. Well, way to go, Tom. Yeah, that you pitched a heck of a, an inning in that ninth, that top of the ninth. Well, that, no, that, um, was, all, that was all smack Avery. <laughs> I, had, I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I had five strikeouts, so yeah. I just I fell apart in this one. I don't I don't know what happened to me. Boy, that was <laughs> uncharacteristic to say the least. I, I don't oh. typically play that bad. I'm not great, but I don't play. That yeah. Bad. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. I don't. I'm gonna have to watch it back even because I can't. I mean, it's all a blur. What yeah. you know? Well, we'll close this one out without going over it too much. Uh, we we'll just. We'll talk to you soon. This is good night, everybody. This is Tommy G. And PJ. And I'm saying get out of here. <laughs> I don't even deserve to say get out of There's here. There's the now. door. It's over there. Find it. Hey, <laughs> Eliza Peck has lowered her asking price. Oh. All right. Well, we'll get into that. All right. Thanks, folks. Good night. You see that on the player development? No. Nah.